I want to talk to you about the open. So you, yeah. you did very well for yourself in the open, I think. I, I mean, I was happy with where I finished. Yeah. And, and yeah. where did you, where did you finish for the, I for the just listeners? looked before just because sometimes it changes with scores coming in, but I worldwide in my age category, I was one thirty ninth. That's awesome. World. And and was and that 90, 91st in the U S nice. And so was that kind of the goal or were you, were you trying to aim higher? What, what was the uh, thought going into the well, open this I mean, year? Since they expended the 20, 25%, uh, I kind of went in with the attitude of, of one and done rather than beating myself up. Although I was very close to repeating 24.2. Okay. Only because I had messed up so many times with the double unders. Mm -hmm. uh, I still finished in the top, I think 93, 94 percentile, but it was just my ego kind of <laughs> knocking on the door and saying, do this again, do this again. And again, the ego kicks in thinking I would have not, would have been nice to finish in the top 100. Mm -hmm. But I don't think I'm going to move forward to the semifinal. So why beat myself up? So mm -hmm. I was, yeah, so I was pretty happy. I was trying to do the one and done like I did last year and just call it a day. Yeah, yeah I, I was I was happy. Yeah, that, 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 that's, that's what I've done lately. It's just like one and done. So because it's like, you know, you can you can think about it like during the weekend saying, oh, I should have done it faster at this spot. I could definitely like, because, you, you you know, and everybody knows, like if you do it again, you're probably going to get better. But yeah, yes and no. I mean, I also have the philosophy oh, yeah. that I think mentally for me, I like the unknown okay. going into that workout yeah. and pushing as hard as I can because you don't know where that dark place is quite going to be and how it's going to feel. Mm -hmm. At what point during the workout, doing it again, you know what's coming. <laughs> and I think that for me, it always kind of like you kind of put on the brake a little bit to save some in the gas tank. Yeah. And it never work, it, sometimes it never works out for me. But yeah, I, uh, I definitely, I definitely tried to game the system on 24.1, which was the dumbest thing ever like i would take like 10 second breaks here and 10 second oh, no. and i'm like i after after i did it I, and I, I finished it it was in like 12 30 it was not impressive but i was you, you yeah. did you, i mean i was looking at your scores you did pretty well i i, I did i did good i mean did you did you move forward yeah i'm in the quarterfinals yeah. but the, here, here's the thing like i i've talked about this before like i i don't have an affiliate i can do this stuff with uh so like the gym that I go to is like a 24 hour powerlifting gym. And so they don't have rings. They have a rope, they have a pull-up bar, but the problem is the pull-up bar, well, they're, they're changing it now, but the pull-up bar originally was like up to here on my wrist. Like, so this, this much of my hand was like over the bar. And so trying to do like pull-ups or whatever, it's not really going to, it's going to cut it. Yeah. And like, everything's like all spaced out too. So it's like, I would have to like take time through the middle of the day, move all this stuff over and then kind of go from there. But like all my buddies are like saying, you should do quarterfinals. Just, just do it. Just go to, just go to the gym, you know, go to the, you know, pay the, pay the fee, the drop in fee, and then kind of go. And I'm like, but I don't want to pay, you know, $25 every workout I do. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, if I, if I was at a gym and like, there's a, there's a gym that will welcome me with their open arms, uh, Northeast, uh, Northeast Georgia CrossFit, which is like a great gym. If anybody's around the Gainesville area, you should check it out. Um, you know, shameless plug. Uh, but anyway, like I just don't want them to, I, cause I think there's maybe one or two other people that made it to quarterfinals at that gym. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to, I don't want to like, you know, say, Hey, I want to do it. And then interfere with time at the gym and all that stuff. So it is, you know, I'm, I'm kind of making excuses, but. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to pay the $50 into it, but I think we had about 10 members make it and only half are going to actually go forward and pay to actually enter it. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. And, and what do you think about um, supposedly for these um, quarterfinals, they don't have a floor plan and, the other people from the gym can do the workout too as well. Yeah, I don't, I mean, I was, I've been listening to podcasts about that. I mean, it was, it was the same way with the open. There was no uh, floor taping needed, although 
we still taped it out because after the first workout, the 24.1, we didn't tape any of the floors down. And it just felt for our Friday night lights, like it was just any other class. Mm -hmm. It didn't have that aesthetic that we wanted to kind of build up for a Friday night light and the open workout. Mm -hmm. So the, the next two, even though we didn't necessarily need tape lines, we did it like we have in past seasons and just taped out the floor. So it's like sectioned off. So it felt like more like the open. Um, but yeah, they're saying that this one, uh, that you will need tape lines for the quarterfinals and people in the, I mean, I'm, I'm sure it'll be a, just as accessible and approachable as the open was. Mm. Right. So we'll see. Yeah. So do you, do you think they should have had like a one rep max lift on the first three where I, so I'm biased. I say yes, but cause I know I could uh, do really good on that, but. Yeah, I mean, and I'm surprised they didn't only because in past years they've always had that like part B where you do some sort of conditioning work and then the time and rate remaining you have a one max lift. Uh, so I knew they said they were going into this to make it a little bit more approachable and accessible, mm -hmm. which I kind of liked. I mean, I think we had probably about 60% of our members participating in it. Um, so I kind of like that, but I, it didn't feel on, on the paper, on paper, it didn't look like open workouts, but when you did them, it felt like open workouts. Yeah. Yeah, you know definitely. I mean? Yeah. And especially with the uh, 24.3 with the muscle ups. So, yeah. uh, when, when I did it, so it was like super early in the morning, but there was one guy that said, that said like, once I made it to like the muscle ups and stuff like that, he's like, just remember one extra rep moves you further away from that other person. And like, I was like, I part of my friends, I'm like, shit, like that really hit. And so I'm like, that's why I really have to like, like haul and just get yeah. as many muscle ups as I can. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm still working on those. So 